In Autodesk Fusion 360, the user interface is easy for any new user to master. Starting off, Fusion 360 is organized into different workspaces such as modeling, sculpt, and cam. Only relevant features are displayed when in a specific workspace. Of course, each workspace will update accordingly when design changes are made. Next, we could examine the activity feed, where we can see comments from other stakeholders on the design and the version history. Instead of sifting through Windows Explorer for hours, all the data that is associated to the project is shown in the data panel on the left side. Moving to the top right of Fusion 360, the view cube helps navigate our model in 3D space and jump to orthogonal views. These next two features combine part and assembly modeling into one unified environment. Down at the bottom of the application, the history-based timeline stores features in the order they were created. The history marker can be rolled back similar to other CAD applications and is usually seen in part modeling. Now, similar to assembly modeling in other applications, the browser is on the left side of the screen where sketches, bodies, and components, and much more are stored. Now click on the link in the top right to see step-by-step -step walkthroughs of Fusion 360.